once, in a village that lay nestled between the rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a boy named Taro. Taro was known for his curious nature and a heart full of dreams. One day, while wandering through the woods, he stumbled upon a rock. But this was no ordinary rock. It shimmered with a light that seemed to dance across its surface, captivating Taro instantly. Filled with excitement, Taro decided to take the rock to the village market. He had heard tales of merchants from distant lands and wondered if they would see the same magic in the rock that he did. As he entered the bustling market, his eyes wide with wonder, he held the rock high for all to see, and when asked its price, he simply raised two fingers, not saying a word. The first visitor, a jeweler, scoffed at the rock. It's just a stone, he declared, not seeing its glow. The second, a woman seeking spices, laughed, thinking it as child's play. And so it went, with each passerby dismissing the rock as nothing special. Yet, Taro remained undeterred, his belief in the rock's worth unshaken. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting a golden glow over the market, a wise old woman approached Taro. She peered closely at the rock, and her eyes lit up with understanding. This is no ordinary stone, is it? she whispered. Taro nodded, still holding up two fingers. Recognizing its true value, the woman nodded. I see its worth, she said, reaching into her purse and pulling out two gold coins. A small fortune. Tyro's eyes widened in amazement, not because of the money, but because someone had finally seen the rock's true beauty. As Taro walked home, the weight of the gold in his pocket felt lighter than the joy in his heart. He had learned something more valuable than gold that day. The true worth of something is not always recognized by everyone. It takes a special kind of understanding, an ability to see beyond the surface, to recognize true value. Tyro's rock, much like each of us, held a unique light within, waiting for the right person to see it. This story reminds us that knowing your own worth and the worth of what you hold dear is a knowledge as precious as any treasure. It teaches us not to measure our value by others' inability to see our true light, but to hold steadfast in the belief that what we offer is invaluable to those who are meant to see it. <laughs>